Hello everyone and welcome back to the Virtual Mac YouTube channel. On this channel you can find the latest news about Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Nerdio, Intune, Enter ID and much much more. So in today's video we're going to explore the world of CIS managed images. Okay, and um, We're going to tell you how you can deploy them, um, what they are, how much they cost um, and what advantages you'll get from them. So um, CIS managed images are a must if you if interested in security okay um so basically they come deployed out the box with lockdown settings right so these settings are approved by cis um, which is kind of a in industry standard benchmark um so yeah in today's session we're going to basically going to go through see how we can deploy them jump onto a vm look at the settings um, and then hopefully by the end of today's video you'll have a much better understanding um, of what the cis managed images are how you can deploy them and the advantages that you get from deploying them okay all right so let's get to it enjoy today's video so you may be thinking like what kind of settings get applied to these cis images so um there's actually a document on the cis website that you can download um and that just gives you a, a, a good idea of what saying to actually applied so let's just take a quick look at that document because i've actually just um I, I downloaded it here so um this basically lists out all the different settings which were applied onto the cis hardened images okay so you can go through there basically just check each so in this document there's 1,379 pages of settings which were applied um, by the CIS policies, okay? So pretty impressive. Um, so they literally go through each one and explain what they are. And um, so if we just select this one, for example, uh, we can go through and it'll say what the, the recommended state is. Um, and obviously L1, which is the image that we've applied, um, this will be configured in there as well. So. Yeah, if you're ever intrigued, um, this is a public document. You can go to the CIS, down, CIS website and download this document. Uh, but if you're ever intrigued about what settings are being configured um, and what those settings do, um, then this is a really good resource to go through uh, and check. So, yeah, um, I'll put the link into that um, during the description as well. Uh, so if anybody wants to download that, they can do. Uh, but this is a very good resource if you're not kind of sure what settings have been applied and why they've been applied. Um, you can go and, and check this as well. So how much extra does it actually cost um, for these uh, VM SKU? So it's the same VM SKU, but basically what happens is CIS put an additional charge um, on top of the VM. So let's just have a quick look in the Azure portal and we can see how much it actually costs. So the cost is an extra, well, it's $0.0225 plus the additional hourly cost um, of that you'd be normally paying for the virtual machine, right? So Let's do some quick calculations on that. So, for example, um, if we were using, a, for example, a D2 SV4, okay, so the normal cost of a D2 SV4 um, would be, uh, let's have a look at that, uh, 0.203 of a dollar, right? So, uh, just reduce that down a bit so you can see that, okay? And then we've got the 0.0225, right? So, if we take Imagine we're running like 260 hours a month, um, so 0 0.0225, okay, and then times 260, so that gives us an extra like $5.85 extra um, per VM, okay, which is not too bad really, uh, because if you think about that from, it's a lot less worry because that desktop will be securely kind of locked down to the high security standards um, that say Benchmark gives you. Right, so, um, so yeah, an extra five dollar eighty-five. So imagine if you've got like I don't know, a um, hundred VMs in your inside your environment times hundred, that would be like an extra five hundred eighty-five dollars a month. So, are you prepared to pay an extra five hundred eighty-five dollars a month for, for peace of mind? Um, I know I certainly would be. And the good thing about those images as well is they kind of um, CIS auto update um, all the policy settings. So when you reprovision those session notes, which you should be doing by the way, on a monthly basis, um, they'll have the latest CIS security benchmarks um, in there as well. So and that really helps. Okay. So yeah, an extra, well, nearly nearly six dollars um, per VM per month um, for for having a trusted um, kind of CIS security benchmark um, setting deployed onto that VM. So now let's actually go and take a look and see how we can deploy those images to our AVD session hosts. So I'm going to flip over to my, my console. So here I'm on the Nerdio console. Um, first thing I need to do is to create an image. Okay, so I'm just going to click the add from Azure library. 
and then we're going to call this CIS hardened. Okay, uh, description CIS hardened image. Uh, we're going to pick the your image. So here's where we do things a bit differently. So normally we have the normal images from the Azure Marketplace, um, but here I'm going to select the CIS image. Okay, so if I just go to the top here, I can see them here, right? So we've got CIS hardened image level one, right? So that's the most compatible one. You can go to level two, but you may have like configuration issues in your environment. So um, let's select level one. Um, I'm going to pick the enterprise multi-session gen two one, right? So you, you have a enterprise single session. Um, so if you want to do that, like Windows 365, um, but we're going to pick the Windows 10 enterprise multi-session Gen 2. We also have um, single session Gen 2, um, also have Windows Server as well. Okay, so CIS hardened image level one, Windows 11, enterprise Gen 2. Okay, that's what we want. Okay, now here is actually asking me to accept the marketplace terms, right? Because there is a slight extra charge to this um, compared to another uh, a normal. Um, image so I'm just gonna accept that okay that's now done right um, so I'm gonna pick default everything else um, I'm gonna do a AD join okay and I'm not going to enable for cloud PCs um, but if I wanted to um, I could do that as well so yeah just make sure that uh, do not create image object okay and I'm gonna distribute it to the Azure compute gallery Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to click OK. And then what that's basically going to do, that's going to go away and it's going to create my CIS image for me. Okay, and then we then should be able to use that um, to deploy session hosts. Session hosts have been deployed. So let's pop across and have a quick look. So um, first thing we notice, we can see this icon here. So host with purchase plan. Um, and that's obviously because we signed up to the CIS marketplace where we're going to get charged that extra extra um, $0.025 um, every hour that that VM is running. Okay, so that's just letting us know um, that these, these session hosts have got that. All right, so let's go and log on to the session host and we'll see what we can see, um, which is a bit different. Okay, so... Here I can see my CIS test. So I'm just going to fire up. Okay, so first thing to notice, we've got a prompt saying unauthorized users are prohibited. So that wasn't there before. Okay, um, so that's good. So that's obviously a policy setting which has been applied um, just to, as a security message, just to let people know that they shouldn't be doing things they shouldn't be doing. Um, okay, so let's log on to the machine. Um, let's just make sure we're, we're running the which version of Windows that we're running. Okay, so it's running Windows 11 23 H2. Okay, so it's the latest um, operating system version. So one of the other things which I've noticed on the image is we have this CIS cat report. All right, so this is going to let's open this up and I think it tells us what settings that we've got. Okay, so this is the IP address of the target machine. Um, so if I go to IP config. Okay, yes, yeah, so this will be the IP address of when this re report was run. Um, so it's telling us we're on level one build image, okay? Um, and yeah, this was run on August the 21st, okay? Um, so this will be um, against the actual image that we deployed. And as you can see here, it's basically showing us um, which settings uh, it's been tested against. Um, so we can make sure that the build um, is compliant. So if I can probably just click on, um, I don't know, real-time protection, for example, or click on this, it tells us um, which settings have been um, applied to the machine, okay, which is quite useful. So let's actually just go and prove that, shall we? Um, so basically, if we pick one of the settings, so yeah, okay, so we go to computer configuration, uh, so have a quick look, so MMC, see lazy. Okay, so go to file, administrators is snap in, and we'll, have a, we'll just have a quick look at the local policy settings. So if I go to group policy, local computer, click on OK, and then we'll be able to see um, in here and just prove that some of these settings have actually been, um, been implemented. So uh, let's go and have a quick look. So local computer, 
uh, computer configuration, so Windows settings, for example. Um, security settings, account policies, password lockout policy. Okay, cool. Okay, so you can see, for example, we've got some settings which have been um, deployed here. So password must meet compliance requirements set to enabled. Um, so yeah, th these, these are the kind of stuff that it goes in and configures. Now, yes, you can deploy these settings via group policy as well or by Intune. Um, but there's thousands of these settings, okay? And this is just like a benchmark um, to make sure that you as locked down as you as you could be. So um, this is kind of peace of mind as well. Um, and then obviously, CIS constantly keep these up to date as well. Um, so it's a very, very good way of keeping yourself locked down and secure. Obviously, I've not had any problems. Um, it's basically just um, worked out of the box for me. I've not had to uh, change any settings to get anything to work, um, which is a good thing. So, for example, we've got here um, prevent at least prevent enabling lock screen camera and slide slideshow and stuff like that as well. So, um, these are the kind of things that it's doing. Okay. Okay. So, I hope you found today's video uh, useful. Um, obviously, it, this is a such an easy way um, of um, deploying lockdown out the box security settings right um i was speaking to a customer um just this week and i was talking to him about this and i said look there's going to be an extra charge for the vms and he was like i don't care um the fact that we're getting these um settings locked down um that's going to meet our security standards it's a security tick box and the company is quite happy to pay that extra five dollars a month or five or six dollars a month uh, for each virtual machine um just to make sure that we are um in a lockdown state Okay, all right, so I've got a feeling these are going to be really, really popular, um, especially with, with Nerdio customers. There's been a lot of interest in this, so I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please subscribe. Um, I do make lots more content like this, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Goodbye.